and good morning everyone guys welcome back I am channeling the warm weather today it's pretty nice and beautiful and warm out there and I'm wearing this somewhat of a bright dress I thought I'm gonna wear it the last few days that I can because we're about to hit cooler temperatures coming up and I gotta tell you this is like one of my favorites it makes me happy put it on today Brandon I just got I just got home from the temple I went with Brandon but he ran off to the school to pick up the kids you guys we had the best time today I got a little emotional I had a few little tears great happy wonderful tears it's a really great time and Brandon and I love getting like little day dates in while the kids are at school. For him, I feel kind of bad because he works all morning and then he has to hurry and get ready and we rush out and then getting the kids and then before you know it, the day's, the day's done. <laughs> Once the kids come home, it feels like the day's like done in a sense because calmness during the day is wonderful and then the kids come home and it's like <laughs> a little louder, a little crazier. It's always fun when they're home. We're crushing it today. I'm so excited. I came home from getting some stuff done this morning and I threw some meat in into the crock pot. I did like a little meal thing that we have. I just threw it in. It's for sweet porks. We can do tacos. I'm thinking of doing burrito bowls. That's what I'm thinking. But my initial reaction here is when I think of dinner, I'm like, I want to do burrito bowl. I love those kind of things. Anyways, you guys, it's been a fantastic day so far today and just feeling really awesome, feeling really good. Very excited for this time of year. I don't know. You know those days when you just feel like extra, super duper grateful? Today's one of those days. Just feeling very grateful. Grateful for all of you guys being here because truly, you guys are like a part of our family. We're so, so happy to each and every one of you that reach out, that show love, that show support. It have been our cheerleaders from forever ago. Like if you can remember when Brandon broke his leg and you were here. Oh shoot. Are you okay? Yeah, I broke my leg. Clear back then. That was a long time ago. Hazy broke her arm years ago. Like some of those early, early days to now, just if you're new here, you've been here for one day and you're like, these people are kind of crazy, but I kind of like them. Kind of like being here. You guys were so grateful for you. So thank you so, so much. My guy is doing a few things for me, yep. but I'm kind of like using that to my advantage because Rai Guy, buddy, what did we just do? Did the pre-order for the pre-order of my new iPhone. <laughs> Basically what it is. Let's talk about the phone a ton lately. Yeah. You're able to like go in, select everything you want, put your credit card number in, and then tomorrow morning, I just have to wake up and push complete the order and his phone will be ordered. But another thing we did just do is we just purchased dad a new watch. Yeah. He's very excited. He's getting this the Nike. This watch broke really recently. Yeah. Like you charge it and it only stays is charged on low power mode for like 15 minutes. So. Yeah, it's really bad. It's basically he had loved his watch. No watch, but he got the really cool Nike band. It, it's, it's really, really awesome. awesome. Ryler is trying really hard to convince me to get a new phone as well, and I'm literally tempted because I can justify it basically. <laughs> my whole business is on my phone. Like we film with my phone. Sometimes like if I'm away and I don't have the camera, I'll use my phone to film. Actually, I just thought of that. That's a really good reason. If I traded my old phone, I can get a lot of money for it actually. I was very surprised. So, I don't know. I can't quite decide. Ugh, I can't quite decide. Undecided. Miss Hazy, how was your day at school today? Good. Good? Yeah. Did you hear about Brexy? We should bring Brexy up here and have him tell us about. He got a really cool thing happen at school today. Did he what? tell you? <gasps> Let's get him up here and have him tell everyone. Okay. I just got my Brexy doodle, my ramen noodle hair. Brexy, what did you find out about at school today that you get to do? I was selected to do the Choose Kindness Retreat. <gasps> the Choose Kindness Retreat? You guys, this is a big deal. They only selected so many kids in the school and this boy was selected to go do the Choose Kindness Retreat. Now they called me today and they're like, okay, what size of shirt does he wear? What kind of lunch is he gonna want? So he gets to go have a whole day. All about you, Brex. Are you so excited? You get to skip out on part of class. <gasps> That's the coolest part. I don't know everything that they're going to do at the Choose Kindness Retreat. This boy was selected and actually cool enough, Savannah was selected from junior high. And so I told Stephanie, I was like, we should just take the kids, enjoy the afternoon, while they're having a fun time. It's gonna be really cool for them. But that was an exciting thing that happened today, huh? Yeah, big deal for you. I'm excited. Yeah, same. You know what I'm also excited about? Mm. My pumpkins right behind you. Aren't they so cute? I bought these pumpkins the other day at Sam's Club and they're just like so pretty. They are called Flock, what they're called. I bought the other colors while my mom picked them up for me today, but I wanted to start decorating the house for fall. Hi, Brexy. Anyways, I threw these right here and they're really pretty. Okay, go grab your book and come up here and read, okay? okay. Mom, what the heck is going on in this kitchen? I don't even know who I am. What are you, are you cooking for 50? What's going on? I know, you would think so by the way I'm cooking right now. For somebody I'm age 50. I'm on a roll, I'm 
sudden, people. Yeah, you've got, what, what are the variety of things you got going on here? Okay, so I started out, I told everyone, I started dinner at like 10 o'clock this morning. Whoa. It's been going all day. It is a sweet pork. Oh, baby. And I got a little carried to make away. Oh. burrito bowls. So I'm working on a Spanish rice right there. And then I found a recipe for Mexican street corn dip. It's like an elote dip. <gasps> I love elotes. I, I love, love elotes. Dip. But I did a Walmart order and the recipe actually calls for like ears of corn. But oh. because I did like an express delivery, I needed it before dinner time. I had to order like so few I'm items. sure ears of corn just makes it a little more fresh, a little more. I know. But you could just throw in canned corn, well, can't you? Good. I'm glad you're okay with it. Okay, that's good. what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, you know what? We're not very you hard know. to please. Yesterday, McDonald's, today, canned corn. It doesn't matter. That McDonald's was busting. <laughs> it was not. I actually thought about having it again today, and I was like, that's <laughs> Two days in a row, now you disgusting. have a problem. Don't that's when you have a problem. Hey, well, I'm excited, Mom. We're all going to reap the benefits of this delicious meal, except for Rye Guy. He's taking off tonight, going to a football game. I know. The high school football team that he yeah. will eventually go to that Supporting school, right? So he's friends. supporting the yeah. neighbors. Yeah, so very he's gonna cool. He's going to go hang out with them. But yeah, I'm just over here, you know, cooking up a storm. Tomorrow, we're going to have hamburgers. I got stuff for that barbecue tomorrow. Yeah, Mom, I got to tell you, I this mean, is like a, this looks like a full afternoon and evening here, really all is. just to feed your family. I, know, I mean, you're incredible. He came upstairs and he's like, why are you doing this? And I was like, well, because that's what moms do for their family. I was like, not all of them. He's like, Sometimes you really just... should have just DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they just throw chicken nuggets at him and say, here. We have chicken nuggets. <laughs> My guy actually does get to have dinner with us before he heads off, so that's kind of cool. How is this elote dip? I it's see you going so back good. at it a couple times. That's what I'm most excited for. I already had way too much. Moving it up to the hype. Uh -huh. By the way, thank you for mowing the lawn today. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Raw guy's way of earning his monthly cell phone bill to mow the lawn. His bill went up a little bit. Well, guess what? Our yard size went up a little bit, yeah. so still just gonna keep mowing the yeah, lawn. Now he's gonna do the front and the back instead of. Well, I don't know if anybody knows. I I would do one and he would do the other, but yeah. now he's doing both a little bit more yards. So I think it's I think it'll pay off that good, monthly yeah. I iPhone fair, bill. Right? I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it'd be like what, like twenty-ish bucks 20 25 bucks a time for a front and back on this yard that's actually yeah, we're getting that for dirt it. cheap yeah. but you're getting a dope cell phone bill paid yeah. so that's awesome so thank you for that love it looks fantastic almost as good as this dinner my goodness mom i, know, I love look, spanish I rice spanish rice but the pork is really good pork is very good so we're just gonna make like kind of a burrito bowl that's okay. what we're gonna go with okay i like it i love it and then i want some more of it also yeah. I want that on mine Mom, after one of the greatest dinners you've ever made, according to Ryler, what are you following that up with? Oh, Hazy, look at you, little helper. So many people's dreams come true, delivering packages of goodness. Wait, are you delivering Christmas gifts early, Santa? I am basically Mrs. Claus. <laughs> basically. Uh, this Hazy, wow, good catch. Look at that one on the back. Wow, that's a talented little girl right there. Hazy and girl. She sits down there and crafts while I'm down there. I love it. I love and it. And she I made do this. Chip. But it has magnets, so she's gonna go see if it sticks to her whiteboard. Oh, that would be cool. I had an injury, Brandon. Paper cut? I need to file workman's nope. comp. Oh, Actually, wow. it's a cardboard cut. Actually, the bone I have to take up with Heather Forrester. She's one of our loyal followers. I've been sending packages to Heather for years, but this little box right here gave me the worst cardboard cut. So what you're saying is she's getting a sample Heather, of your DNA with that package. This will be a <laughs> test to see if she really does watch every vlog. <laughs> because if she does, I'll be expecting an apology message on Oh my Instagram gosh, apologizing tomorrow. for what? <laughs> Buying merch and then you cut yourself on the package? <laughs> but Heather, we love you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's coming. She bought some sunglasses. So package that one with some blood, sweat, and tears. Literally. I know. Ugh. <laughs> I can't make dinner tomorrow night. Ugh, do you see it? Okay, I'll take care of it. We're doing burgers, right? Right there. <laughs> What? No, hold on, let me zoom. Wait, wait. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Okay, yeah, no, I think I see it. Yeah. No, uh, uh. <laughs> wait, there's a huge ding on this. Don't get down that far, you'd never notice. Oh. <laughs> Kruby, dude. We talked about this, bro. What's up? Too young? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so this has been a debate that we've had, I don't know what, probably two years now. At least a year, definitely since we moved into this house. Could we do, as you know, a bit of an athlete. Also somewhat shredded just by nature. I don't know how that happened. But <laughs> he really greatly desires to work out. He would love nothing more than to hit the weights, do some pull-ups, hit the bench press, get his max up. Yes. But I have always been taught, correct me if I'm wrong. If you're able to comment below, hit the like button, DM us, whatever you think. we got any personal trainers out there. I have always heard that until you hit your growth spurt, like until you hit that puberty moment, when you start to grow, your muscles are developing, your bones are kind of stretching, you shouldn't hit the weight because you could stunt that growth. You could yes. do something that could injure you, that could have long-term implications. And so while you're still waiting to hit the growth spurt, I don't want you hitting the weight and messing that up. Yeah. I think you're going to be a big, ripped dude. So if you can just be patient and wait, I think that it will be worth it. I don't know. I could be wrong.
wrong, because I think I said that to either you or Ragai or somebody, and they said they had like a doctor that was a teacher or a friend or something like that, and they're like, no, that's made up. No, the ER doctor in our neighborhood, who actually was the one who treated Hazy's broken arm, said that that's not actually true. This is kind of like one of those old a myths. I've ton of people that it's not true, and to prove to my parents, in language arts, I had to write an essay. I was like, what better topic to do it than on- Wait, your essay is about why you can so work out? I'll show it to you, but it's just pretty <laughs> lengthy, and it's a couple <laughs> different- Wow. Things. Dude, hold on. So <laughs> This is actually news to me, I'm finding out right on the camera here. You did a paper about why you should be allowed to work out and you found sources, and you cited sources that say it's okay to work out. Mm -hmm. What? And I have to see this thing, I dude. Pitch me on it, bro. Maybe I'm down. I don't and know. And another thing that I realized is some kids don't hit their growth spurt in ninth grade. Bro, and some don't until like they're 20. Yeah. I've seen so that. at our school, they teach fitness for life, which is just straight weight lifting. And I feel like you wouldn't be allowed to do that if it did start your growth. Is this part so, of your paper? No, but it you should add be. That to your essay. Dude, you are. Man, this kid. Do you remember what was that thing that you wrote like a paper to get a pet or something? We still didn't honor it because we're terrible parents. But uh, you know what, dude? Go ahead. Keep getting shredded. What do I know? <laughs> I was never ripped, so it's I don't really know how it works. <laughs> but dude, it looks big. It's a big looking plate. Let's pretend it's a 45. Anyways, that's kind of been the rule we've had. Let Ragai work out. She's kind of like full man size. So it's like, yeah, go for it, dude. If, if you stop growing now, you'd still be fine. But yeah. crew's got a bit to go. And I know you want that, bro. You want that for sports. You want that for everything. So I just never wanted to jeopardize that. But if you're telling me you've done a freaking paper on it, I believe you did a paper on this. <laughs> Maybe we should look at letting you work out. Today he stayed after for football. He loves to stay active. He loves to hit the trampoline, do his tricks and flips and parkour and all that stuff. So why not add weight training to the repertoire, to the mix? I don't know. I also think too, if I was naturally shredded, I don't know if I would actually hit the gym that much. You're pretty much shreddy without even trying. <laughs> All right, mom, we need you to weigh in on this one. Could we do? Downstairs, oh, getting so shreddy. Oh my gosh, I forgot that whole thing happened. Anyways, we've talked about this, right? Weren't yes. you raised or grew up in a time when they said that working out early could, could potentially stunt, your, stunt your, growth. your growth? Yeah. So he's talked to some reputable doctors and surgeons in the area. Well, and actually one of them being the doctor that fixed Hazel's arm. Yes. So he does have some credibility. And not only that, he's like a ultra marathon triathlon, like worldwide qualifying competitor. He's also incredibly physically fit is what I'm trying to say. Yes. He's not just a doctor with knowledge. He's also in practice. He does a lot of physical stuff yes. and he has specifically said that's just a misconception because what actually happens is that when they work out young it's more likely they get injured and so they can get hurt sometimes in a growth plate which could affect their stunt growth but the act of working out would not necessarily stunt your growth well, so I, don't I know. like to promote working out because it makes me feel good both physically mentally emotionally spiritually emotionally spiritually you still can't handle a paper cut uh. <laughs> here's my thing though I know how bad crew wants to hit that growth so if there is even like a 0.001% chance that it could impact that negatively. I'm like, it's not worth it, bro. You got the rest of your life. So you got to work out. Strong. He was upstairs just doing push-ups, the clapping push-ups. Yeah. The kind where you throw yourself in the air, clap and then land. And he's doing multiples in a row. I was like, dude, there's never once in my life I've been able to do that. Never. I do them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That is the debate we that we're having today. We just want to promote him being physically fit, not stay lifting active. heavy, I guess. Yes. Let's so just stay be active. physically Keep running active. football drills. He loves to do push-ups and sit-ups in his bedroom at night. Fantastic. I don't know that I want him hitting the weights. <laughs> he said what? that he had a bellyache earlier today. He came downstairs and he goes, I just did a whole plank set to a Juice World songs. I feel better now. <laughs> The wow. song is like three and a half minutes. A <laughs> long plank, bro. I believe he could do it. Cute crew. He really yeah, wants, he to, wants to. He wants to. What do you guys think? Should we let him? Should we allow it? What have you heard? What have you read and studied? What's the truth? Where does I know. the truth lie? I don't know. But I know that the truth is tomorrow's the weekend, baby. It is Friday. It's, it's a pizza Friday. day at school, so you don't have to make a lunch, right? No. Head into the weekend. I cannot wait. It's fantastic. They mean so much during the school oh, year. Oh, I'm so excited. The weekend, I am sleeping. In. And maybe potentially getting some fall decor. I don't know. You talked about maybe. No. I would love to. Maybe we'll see. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Oh, you see it. Okay, I'll take care of it. We're doing burgers, right? Hey there. <laughs> no, hold on. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I see it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait. There's a huge thing on this. Don't get down that far. You'd never notice. <laughs>